people there's too much going on and I have to like show up the people them what is really going on so people bam last week I'm on my way to Jamaica I get a call that a lot of police is at my house right I never explain to anyone why am I going to Jamaica what the trip was about or nothing like that but today I have to explain everything so everyone could get a brief understanding so I'm um, I was on my way to Jamaica, I get a call, police is at my house, and I turn back. The reason why I was going to Jamaica, people, listen to me now. I have two child in Jamaica, I have a son and a daughter, right? So, I was doing the paperwork so my son could get his um, Canadian um, papers. So when my son go do medical, medical come back, and on my picnic. Right, people, like it. Like, me never want to talk about it, but me go just show the people them things when me go through. So the medical come back, sign on my picnic, right? That's what I was going to Jamaica for, it come back, sign on my picnic, bam. Me, within myself, me a mind the youth from long time, the youth are nine years old. Me a mind the youth, take care of the youth from long time, right? This supposed to be my son. So when me do the file in immigration medical, they say it's not my son. So what do you think now? Me tell my girlfriend in Canada, say, you are going go on. I was in the youth life, and me did present, so me not think me go back out of the youth life. So me tell myself, say, me go adapt the youth. Me tell myself, say, me go adapt the youth, and the woman who me there with vex people. Me want to tell me what me supposed to do. Like me, I file for my youth, it comes to the youth and the mine, and me I try to adapt the youth so I could file for the youth over again. And my woman who I'm there with, she I tell me, say, I'm not to adapt the youth. So, people, me need to give me an honest opinion what y'all think I should do because I can't bother, I can't take the idiot. It has stressed me. to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me well, go on, my people. Hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is all right. Happy Thursday. Worrying is a conversation you have with yourself about things you cannot change. Prayer is a conversation you have with God about the things He can change. May God answer all your prayers and bless you with peace, love, and happiness. Today, tomorrow, and as always, I will learn a bit then now. I have something to tell somebody, understand? Because more while I go some boom, and you go in the streets and you see some people do some things, you wonder why they do it. Don't judge. Nobody has it easy. Everybody has problems. You never know what some people are going through. So before you start judging, criticizing, or mocking others, remember, everybody is fighting their own battles. And I talk about the criminal, them still in there, you understand? Because I now change my course on that. All of them supposed to get slapped away. So what I said, I mean what I said. I oh, you know me already. I now take you back. And speaking of slap away, me have a couple dead boys around there. So I need to get slapped away. So I couldn't know who and who. And tell me if you don't know which part of them there. You understand? But I can start the news right as a first. Several injured in three vehicle crash in St. Anne. She had no star. The road did a ball for blood. And see it there. People them crash and broke up. Several persons have been seriously injured in a three week collision at the roundabout in Miami Bay St. Anne's early this morning. I mean, 9 o'clock to be exact. You understand? Some people are going to say, my view, that's not really too early, man. You understand? So, out hot them time there. The incident reportedly involved a truck, a car, and a Knoxford Express bus. People with a plan for go down, for go pan that the flight, they goodly miss it. But anyway, now, people, watch your one pan, walk one. We're still in the town. Yes, watch your real store now. A tourist who arrived in Jamaica on a cruise ship is suspected to have drowned in Blue Hole in Ocean State and yesterday. He is 30 year old Damien 
Rashford Benjamin of the Florida address. Yes, right now Florida I'm come from. Come come there to Jamaica. It's a point that about midday, Benjamin jumped into the water at Blue Hole and did not resurface. He was later seen unresponsive in the water. He was taken to the St. John's Bay Regional Hospital, which part then put him by the part ice and the people them upstairs and do the paperwork for send back the body got fine. You understand? We now keep it out here. Anyway, now people try one one power go on. In a Linstead, the news are come quick and fast. Yes, 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 yes. Two men were killing Linstead, and for the people them who don't know who come from overseas, Linstead in a Saint Catherine. So watch me go on the news now. Two men who were working in Linstead area of Saint Catherine were gone down while on their job yesterday afternoon. Jamaica Constable Force report the incident to me and say my view. Let me tell you with them name: sixty-year-old Feral Bedwood and thirty-nine-year-old and Miguel Barnett. The shooting took place in Berkshire District in Saint Catherine. Police report that the men were delivering blocks when they were shot. The delivery truck was seen at the location. Jamaica Constabulary Force said that the men were robbed before being shot. Execution style, them kill them to people. Me, I tell you the truth. Hold on a bit there now. Because the Costas of Manchester, Garfield Green, has called on parents, guardians, as well as schools, guardian counselors to do more intervention if they observe suicidal signs in children. His appeal follows the death of a teenage girl who had reportedly drunk some poison. Dead is 14-year-old Athena Williams of Bottom Coffee Grove in Poros. Reported that on Sunday, April 16, Athena's mom and grandma heard strange sound coming from the bathroom and when checks were made, they discovered that the girl had drunk vehicle coolant. Athena was rushed to the hospital and admitted in serious condition, but she succumbs to her injury on Tuesday. The Manchester police are investigating. Yes, people. I can know everything. I want power. I want, you know. Reacting to the incident, Costas Green note that oftentimes children who are depressed or withdrawn do not get adequate attention and love. We tend to overlook it. And what disappoints me, every school now has a dean of discipline and a guidance counselor. And I don't know how much it's been done to go the extra mile to save our children. It hurts my heart when our children are hurting and even more so to the point of taking their lives. It's very disturbing. Don't take something lightly. If a child comes to school and falls asleep, find out what is wrong. If the child is hungry, if the child has a scar because she or she has been abused, find out. Just love them, appreciate them, hug them. Say I love you to a child. I really have seen a lot of cases and it always comes down to feeling unwanted, feeling less important than others. Member, member, good. I don't run suicide joke, none tall. So I don't want nobody come come tell me no foolishness. Anyway, now people watch one, 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 one. Couple of one, a client that need to get slapped with. I can tell you about them. The Clarendon Police has left five men as wanted in connection with various crimes committed within the division. Head of the division, Superintendent Carlos Ross said the men who are considered armed and dangerous should surrender immediately. Carlos, better you shut them out. Carlos Russell is better you shut them out. What kind of surrender? Ah, slap who and them get slap with. Any means necessary. You understand? Who don't have to do the dirt thing? We know some people who are look for them. Them we push back them brain, I only go do the lifting. Yeah, man, lift up and dash in a hole. Got the mission there with the pan for the rest of the year. But anyway, now, people, you remind citizens that it is a crime to harbor fugitive. And some of them people are supposed to get pushed back to. One, Romian Murray, otherwise called John Tom. He hails from the Comfort District in Clarendon and he's wanted for murder as also. Other cases of wounding with intent. Two is Panif Bloomfield, is also called Chang. He is from the Buzz Rock Effortville community and he's wanted for shooting with intent and robbery with aggravation. Three, Jabalani Daya, OC Jabu of Woodall District, Chapleton, Clarendon, and he's wanted for wounding with intent. And four, Steve Leonard Francis, he's from Sunset Crescent four parts and he's wanted for murder and assault occasioning bodily harm and five Artney Murray OC Planton he's from Nine Turn Clarendon and he's wanted for wounded with intent so these are the top five persons that we have on our wanted list and we're also warning person that it is an offense to harbor a fugitive come on my people let's all come together and do the right thing you see them my boy yeah? them deserve 
If you put in a one bone box and that cement over them head. So me talking to you, you, you. Yeah. And you where I that the one day. Just tell me which path to find them, the man. Tell me which path to find them and my angle rest. You understand? Anyway, now people watch you one pan walk one. The other day, I see Kanju going over so can't chat a bag of same thing. And guess who they left in charge? Sleepy. So sleepy wake up and sleepy have one holy bus in the chat to you know. For the people them who don't know who name Sleepy, stop on Nado and look on the right hand corner of the screen and see exactly who me I talk about. But Sleepy say, there has been a major reduction in crime in community. Which part them put the zozo them, the sleeping apparition them. But who will have bit they now Sleepy? Coming like on the nana sense, you know. Yes, the crime has gone down around there so because one only for police and soldier around there sleep. But it up elsewhere. And I come come tell the people them that. On the now tell the people them that, you know, say evil door. On the right round there, so. Yes, it right round where this part on the down there. Man round there, jump like fly. But the people them know what I want, power, what I want, come here, tell them. All years under the Zosa continue to record reduction in all major crimes, including murder and shootings, which is the ultimate um, symbol of violence in our community which record the following reductions for interest, Mount Salem by the 60% and in murders and 63% in shootings over the period indicated. Then the town is 13% and 40%. Greenwich Town is a 35% reduction in shooting in murder, while a 70% reduction in shootings. August Town, 64% and 78%. Norwood, 56% and 100% reduction in shooting. There are a couple of murders based on other activities. Madam Speaker, the zones continue to transition along the clear, hold and build spectrum, which is which flows from our national security strategy, with positive results in the respect to crime and reduction. Crime reduction. Mount Salem and Denham Town continue in the build phase. Greenwich Town is in hold and build. August Town, Norwood, Parade Gardens and Salomar will continue the hold phase for this period of extension um, as we look to begin the expenditure in the 2022-23 budget to extend the build into these areas and to examine further extension. At pause and say, Madam Speaker, the Minister of Finance indicates that while the compensation package absorbed his attention for this particular financial year and the, the, the extension of the recurrent expenditure has been pretty steep and demanding on the budget, this particular program will, will get required funding at some stage this year to expand the various challenge areas because it has been demonstrated to work very effectively not only in reducing crime but in beginning that process of sustainable change within the communities 